Hey guys, this is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 games of the year 2011 for your iPod Touch, iPhone, or the iPad. So basically, I'm just going to wrap up some of my favorite games that came out in the year 2011. My goal for this video is to make it short, hopefully under one hour. So let's get started. For number 10, we got Always Up. This is a fairly new game. It came out in December or November this year. So it's pretty new. Here is Always Up. Let's click play. This game is very similar to Doodle Jump, if you know that game. You probably do. So you get lots of levels and lots of different modes. As you can see, this is very similar to Doodle Jump. The only difference is that you have to collect coins. It's very hard for me to do this on camera, as you probably know. This is pretty much always up. It is a very fun, free game. I uh, hope you check it out. For number 9, we got Glass Tower 3. Once again, this is a very new game that just came out in late 2011. It is a very fun puzzle game. Let's click play and let's try a level. How about let's just do level 1. Basically, you're supposed to destroy all the blue blocks and not destroy the red ones. So let's do that. There you go, I just passed the level, and you get lots of levels in this game too. So let's just see the levels. As you can see, there are lots of levels. Uh, I think there are 150 levels. And as you can see, it's a very fun puzzle game, and it's free. So just go check it out. Number 8, we got Paper Glider. So basically, you're supposed to swipe the paper airplane and get as far as you can and you tap the screen to boost so it's a very fun little small game so I just failed right there let me try this again so that was paper glider for number seven we got Paper Toss 2. This is a sequel to Paper Toss 1, which came out a couple of years ago. This is a free game, and let's just do cubicle. So basically, you're supposed to throw paper inside the spin, and it depends on the wind. So 4.13. So I just got in, got another one in. So Paper Toss 2 is different from Paper Toss 1 because you get paper points and you can buy different items to throw. So as you can see, you can buy tomato, crush can, banana, football, co Coca-Cola, stapler, watermelon, and you get them by increasing your paper points. And you get every one point by throwing in paper. And you can do other different modes. There are lots of other modes, so let's try Warehouse. This one's a bit harder. So that was pretty close. So this is Paper Toss 2. The next game is called Jailbreaker 2. This is a endless running game. I just failed right there. So you click here to jump, and you click here to roll. So this game gets really addicting and very fun. Uh, it's free, so check it out. It's called Jailbreaker 2. The next one is called Tiny Tower. This is another free one, and basically you're supposed to build different floors and different stores and restaurants in this hotel, I guess. So you can uh, build a floor. This is resident, and you have to wait. I have no money. So I got this game a long time ago, like in the summer, before the summer, and I was so addicted to it. I built like 200 floors and so many stores, but I deleted it after because I got kind of bored. As you can see, this game is really fun, so it's worth checking it out because it's free. Once again, it's called Tiny Towers. 
The next game is called Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite version. This is the free one. You can get the paid version. It's a bit pricey. It's seven dollars. Uh, you should try the free version before buying the real one. So if you haven't played the PC version or Mac version, computer version of Minecraft, you should play it because this is a bit different. This is only creative mode so there is no zombies or other monsters. So in this version you can only build stuff which is pretty fun and you get a limited uh, supplies of blocks and different things but in the full version you get a whole page like two times more than this so let's build something you tap to place the block and you mine by holding on to it another feature is it auto jumps when you reach a curb right there or you can jump by tapping the middle button so yeah this is minecraft pocket edition light version uh, you can try this out it's free so just get it the next game is called Where's my water? Free. So here it is. Let's click play. This is the free version of the game. Obviously, you can get the full version, but it's paid. So, what you basically do, you're supposed to get the water and deliver it to this pipe and get this dragon a shower. In the same time, you're supposed to get all the duck, toy ducks. To get full points so there you go first level let me do the second level real quick whoops looks like I only got two ducks so that was where's my water free for number two we got tempo run this is a very very awesome game just like what I say to all the games that I showed you today, but this one's actually really awesome. This is a endless running game, similar to Jailbreaker 2, but this is in 3D. So let's get started and start playing. So basically you're supposed to swipe up to jump, and swipe left or right to uh, turn, and collect all the coins, and try to get your high score and beat your high score okay I failed right there let me do this one more time I'm gonna speed this up for you so yeah this is Temple Run a very addicting and fun game uh, this could be my number one game of 2011 but there is another game that I'm gonna show you right now now, the number one game that I was talking about earlier in Temple Run is Jetpack Joyride. So this game is created by Half Brick, which is the same creator of Fruit Ninja. And I find this game very fun. I've been playing this for a long time. So basically, you're this, this guy with a jetpack. And you're traveling in this, this tunnel or something. And you're supposed to avoid these obstacles and collect as many coins as you can you get special power-ups later in the game so there you go a very special power-up gravity suit so there you go my high score actually not my high score my high score is about 4000 I think it's not that good but you know it's okay so this is a very fun and addicting game it's called jetpack joyride and you should definitely check it out because it is free in the app store so that's it thank you guys for watching this video that was my personal opinion on my top 10 free iphone ipod touch ipad games of the year 2011 be sure to get these games really quick because they might change the price uh, to 99 cents or even higher so be sure to get them while it's free so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoy all the games uh, please subscribe for more videos in the future 
And also like this video, share this video with your friends, and comment down below on how you think of these games. Thank you for watching. I said that like three times, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.